It's, uh, it's about to be 6 in like 10 minutes. I really want to go train right now, but I ate like a lot of food. I ate two plates of churrascos. If you know what that is, it's skirt steak in English. Oh my god, like this is this is probably my favorite meat. Um, aside of that, like there's also um, cecina, Mexican thing. It's like horse meat. Uh, mostly horse meat sometimes. I'm just really, really full. Like, I love cheese. I love the rice that I did with it. I put some guacamole. I put mayo, ketchup. But now that I did that, I have to wait like an extra hour and a half, maybe two hours. Because I really eat a lot. So maybe even three until I go train. Um, other than that, like t tomorrow, like you'll see also in this video later, t later in the video, we're going to go play. We're going to go play some soccer. It's a co-ed league. I'm gonna finally introduce it to to this YouTube video, to this YouTube channel. I mean, it's been really fun. Like I met a lot of people there. Um, the girls are cool, you know. The guys are cool. I just, I really want to be able to make new friends in those soccer world. You know what I mean? Make completely new friends, new everything. Really, we're we're like colored teams. My team is the gray team. We faced a black team. And they had like 15 plus players. The thing about the league is that usually every team has around 10 to 11 players. But this team did not. They had like 15 total. And it definitely looked like a lot of them were not a part of the team. You know, you just get that feeling that something's not right here. I mean, we did our best during that game. We ended up losing 4-2 in the last two minutes of the game. Four minutes of the game. They scored two goals back to back. We had a tie 2-2 for the majority of the game. It was kind of funny, though, that I actually scored the two goals for my team. But it was not, like, without the help of the squad. Like, I always I always preach the squad because it's a team game. So I look really forward to that, to facing the black squad in the playoffs. I think the season's about to end. So, you know, you at least get to see a little bit of that. And I'll definitely be showing you guys the playoffs. Until then, we have to train today, which we, we're going to do later in like maybe two hours. I'm going to watch a movie right now. It's called Kill. It's a, it's a, it's, I think it's an Indian movie base. I think it's Indian. Let's just put it on the screen right now for you guys. Check that out. And yeah, let's wait for this food to go down. Look, I have my dog here. What's up, Rocky? Say what's up. Yeah, say what's up. Yeah, nice, nice. I could take him out walking, no leash. He's a very good boy, but I only like to do it like during the night because I'm afraid that like a motorcycle could come by, a little kid or something. He did end up getting hit by a car once, which is not good, not good. Like he just, we just opened the door, right? And he just ran flying out. And then like he went to the middle of the street, the car went bam, hit him. Luckily, luckily, we're very lucky he survived. You know, it wasn't a like it was more like a like a hit like r rather than it got ran over. You know what I mean? Like he got smacked. Is more what I want to say. I feel like I have a problem, like to committing or something. Like I I lied to you guys. I said I was gonna go train, and after I did that, I just straight up knocked out. I knocked out, but I did end up going to train a little bit. Uh, just for like a couple of 10 minutes, hit the wall, try to control the ball, left left foot, right foot. It's just, it's a lifestyle that I have to adapt to again. I just have to do it straight up. I have to. So I'm about to call my Uber, and we're going to go head over to the field. Hopefully we have a good game. There's only one team out of all the colors. It's like maybe six to eight teams, I think, in total. Look at him, look at him. He just He's running already. Look at him. 
He just stood up and just ran. So this is what I'm worried about. That's why I only take him out at night. Like, I'll, I'll take him out with a leash, but usually without a leash, it's at night. But, yeah, the only team we haven't faced is the purple team. And I think after this week, it's playoffs. Playoffs, and then not only that, um, I'm going to do my very best to record. <laughs> look at him. Look, he's yelling. You hear that? I, I hope the mic picked it up. But after this, this uh, Tuesday, on uh, Sunday, we have uh, quarterfinals. I'm going to try to go to that one because I didn't go to the last one. <laughs> good boy, good boy. All right, let's get to the fucking field. Not stop pressuring. You had to keep pressuring. You heard? No, don't stop pressuring. No standing. I know it's gonna hurt. No standing. No standing. Ah, oh, puta. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Good press. Good shit. Finish. Good pass. Stay. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Fucking slipped. Oh shit. Oh no, that was for you. Beautiful. Again, again, I got you. You're better. You're just better. I got you. Let's go. Let's go. Ningún lado. Ningún lado. Todavía. No importa. ¿Estás enojado? ¿Por qué estás enojado? El quien se enoja pierde. Yo estoy de buen humor. Pero yo estoy de buen humor. Pero te gustó esa, ¿verdad? ¡Eh! Me empujó, mira. Espacio, por favor, mira. Mano también. Se durante, por favor. Apesta un poco. Hay que respetar a las mujeres, están aquí. You couldn't do it over there though. Good shit. Oh. Yo, you're playing nasty today. Ah. 
I got you again. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Oh, no. Good game, good game. Oh, yeah. Damn, fucked it up. fun game funny game too I love the way I was playing but I know I could play way better than that I just get really really tired doing so many skill moves I need to get my cardio real bad next week is playoffs <sighs> man it was such a fun game though at the end of the game I, I just ended up dabbing them you know it was a good game on the ride back though I'll show you a little snippet of like what me and the uber guy talked about but we basically talked about how there's money to be made making videos. It's so interesting that you can do whatever, anything, and you can make money off it. Like, I I told the guy, like, I'm so tired of working. I worked for seven months, right? I think for at least three months or four, I was working every day, every day, right? Making the overtime pay, and it was overnight. Did it for seven months. At the end of the seven months, I was like, yo, where is all my money? Because I look at my bank account and I only have like $2,000. Bro, it felt so demoralizing. Like real bad. Like I'm like seven months and I only have $2,000 to show for it. It's no bueno, guys. It's no bueno. Money-wise. I don't want to want to get it mistaken or put it into my own head that you need to make a lot of money. Um, nah, that's not the case, bro. Like, you need, like, not need, but if you already have a family, that's all you need, really. That's all you need. You have a good family, wealth, and health. Take care of your health, too. Those are the things that you really need. And it was an interesting talk with the Uber guy, because he said he does live, live things, too. And he told me that he had, like, a thousand people watching him live. Like, a thousand people watching live is crazy enough. Like, you can make a lot of money off that, too. Now, I know I've been, like, I know I put the, the foot off the gas pedal and not publishing videos, soccer videos, but I'm back to it, and I feel like I'm, I'm up. I feel like, no, not feel like, because that's not what we're doing here. I'm going to publish, and, you know, I just, just do me, you know? Just solo run it, right? Because, bro, like, I, I guess I try to, get my soccer friends into making videos too but you can't expect people to like how do you say it? you people don't owe you anything even if you think they owe you something they're never gonna really owe you anything you can do them a favor but at the end of the day it's up to them if they want to do you the favor or, or do something with you or something like that I mean it is nice to for me, I really wish that I could build something with people, right? My soccer friends, because this is a soccer channel. But I feel like I grew up way too much by myself, in a sense. Like, I've always had and known a lot of people, right? People know me, I know them, but not to the point where I would dedicate my time to go out with them. I feel like maybe I was a fake friend, but my priorities were different at the time. Growing up, my priority was just soccer, 
I would skip school sometimes just to play soccer. I know I think I did it once for sure. I would wake up early, early just to go really far and start training by myself. It would be like 40 minutes out. I would train maybe for an hour, come back, and get ready for school. Sometimes I would run early, 5 in the morning, practice the ball, and then go to school. Man, I used to do that a lot, like practice like crazy. That used to be my whole lifestyle, soccer, school, until it got to a point where I got a little injured, and I started playing more and more video games. This was during the Fortnite era when it first came out. Man, that was such a good time too. Like I'm not gonna put it on myself that it was a it was an error because no, look look how how, how Fortnite people came up. They're millionaires now too, like clicks. If I would have dove straight into Fortnite and make something out of it, I could have made it big too. The thing about me is I've done it. I've done things so many times, and I stopped so many times. That's really bad. That's really that's a really bad trade of me. I th- I think I think it's a really bad trade because it comes to a point where I'm doing something, stop doing the, doing the other things, stopping. Like for example, for me personally, it's soccer, gaming, soccer, gaming, soccer, gaming, and I like level up, right? And then I stop, so I would go back down. That's not something you really want as a person. So I think what I'm gonna start doing is making sure I I get this down right. The soccer, at least soccer YouTube. Soccer YouTube is, is my new thing. It used to be Soccer Pro to become a pro, but now it's for soccer and YouTube. So the purpose for me now to get better at soccer is just to sh- just to showcase it to you guys. Plus, I kind of like it, you know, g- being nice at, at ball, you know, having fun, trash talking a little bit. But I, th- I think the world needs needs to see, like, beautiful soccer. You know what I mean? That's my purpose with soccer. I want to play beautiful, you know, like... Ronaldinho, Neymar, Ronaldo, R9, Ronaldo Nazario. And early, early young Ronaldo, like when he was just nasty, like he could shoot from anywhere. My God, bro, that was beautiful. Those were beautiful plays. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to make more of these type of styles. Emma Chamberlain style, because I, I, I started looking into her videos again, and I like her new era of videos. It's It's nice. I like it like vloggy, vloggy and soccer. Like that's that's the kind of style I've always wanted to do. Like vloggy but soccer too. All right guys, I'm ranting. The next video is going to be about I'm pretty sure it's going to be for the Sunday one where we're in the quarterfinals. I think that one's going to be a nice video too. Other than that guys, I hope you guys take care and good night.